India's train infrastructure is growing by leaps and bounds. And viewers, I can tell you that my ride in India's Namobhara train was one of the best train rides that I have ever had anywhere in the world. And in this video, as I show you what my first ride in this new Namobharat was like, I will be sharing several reasons why I love Indian trains. Without an element of doubt, the Namobharat train and the new train infrastructure that India is building are absolutely world-class in so many ways. But what makes Indian trains even more outstanding is their affordability. Train rides in Europe can be very expensive and because of that many can't even afford them. But it is not just about affordability for passengers. It is also about reducing costs wherever possible. For example, back in 2022, regarding the Vande Bharat Express, this article in Saudi Gazette highlighted this too. As you can read here, every unit is estimated to be 40% cheaper than a similar unit imported from Europe. Another reason is the new improvements that I see every time I'm back in India. In many ways, India is like a rising sun and Europe seems to be a sinking ship. For example, in Poland and many other countries in Europe, in many areas, we are still stuck in these vintage trams. They can be so dangerous, they cause so many accidents and can be very uncomfortable. In Poland, it took them ages to build a small section of a modern metro rail network. On the other hand, comparatively, we can see how much faster the construction of the metro rail network is in India. And that burning desire to give the best, to improve as fast as possible, I do not see that in Europe as much as I see in India. Just see how pumped up the Indian Prime Minister is here. Another reason is the affordable and wholesome meals that are served in Indian trains. Yes, in India, there are options for dishes made with fresh ingredients and, of course, more vegetarian options. On the other hand, in Europe, expensive and processed food and processed meat dominate in many places. And then India's UPI. It is so fast and convenient. India's digital payment infrastructure and multiple payment options. So far, my experience has been awesome. Another reason is that in many parts of India, communicating in English with locals isn't that difficult from the ticket seller to the ordinary people. In comparison to the communication issues my husband faced in Europe, to us, India seems so much better. For foreigners who speak English, this can be very convenient. I am not sure if Greta Thunberg has noticed it or not, but many countries in the West are still running their pollution-causing trains. On the other hand, India is going for 100% railway electrification and is already ahead of many advanced nations in the West. Where is the USA? Read this. Where is Germany? Read this. Where is the UK? <laughs> Friendliness and hospitable behavior. From the police officers and the railway officials to the common public, nowhere in the world have I experienced friendlier people who would go out of their way to help you. I wish there were more people like that in Europe and the Western world. Now, a suggestion to the Indian railway officials, if they are watching this. How about adding more Indian elements in the new stations that you are developing? So, I came across these AI-generated images on X. They look stunning to me. I'm not sure how practical and economical it would be, but it is so nice to see this. What do you think? Now, it doesn't mean that everything about Indian railways is perfect and they can't learn anything from the West. Yes, India is getting the bullet train, India is introducing faster trains, and already the country is hitting 150 km per hour or more. But let's not forget, the average speed can be improved. And I think the quality of toilets that I saw in the Namobhara train stations was not as good as I expected them to be. And then I like their thoughtfulness regarding this dedicated space for stretchers and wheelchairs, but India needs more of this. Big room for improvement when it comes to civic infrastructure for the differently abled in India. Not just in trains, but in train stations and everywhere else. And there are many more things that need more attention, but overall, as a matter of two Indian citizens, I can say that it is an absolute delight to see how Indians are transforming their country and reclaiming their rightful place in the world. For them, the future seems bright. Very bright. See you again.